so far so good we are very close to finish our listing and all what we need now is description all right description I assume that maybe you have the same screen like me right now and if this is the case I want you to switch to advanced editing that's what I'm using all right advanced watch me what will happen advanced editing and I got this one all the tools here and I will gonna show you why you need this because when it comes to description please guys don't make it weird don't make it uh, uh, like a very professional or, or too much stuff in it don't try to copy the type of descriptions when you go and uh, see what other sellers are doing those fancy templates those fancy logos fancy pictures no please if you want to make sales if you want to do the best uh, of the possibilities do like I am doing you see this is my description from actual from my actual uh, product list okay uh, we are going to make the same I will gonna click here just to paste all of this that's what I'm doing I'm making like template for myself this is my this is I just watch me what I'm doing and you can make for your own the same you see this is very important that your title goes here okay but we will gonna make this on our listing I'm just showing you and ex, uh, explaining to you how to make it in very simple and easy way and this is the secret here is the deal guys the best is the simplest you if you want you can argue with me it's up to you but uh, I have been testing different uh, kinds of uh, description designs I have been uh, uh, putting my descriptions into templates into very nice professional templates I have been put uh, adding I have yeah the, the videos I have been putting videos in my description I have been uh, putting there the, the pictures uh, but it's all worthless it's just slows down for customer to open your actual listing and if they have troubles to open your listing they will just go away so the simplest is the best and this is what I came up with during my three years of experience being top rated seller on eBay I never ever use again any templates this is the only template what I'm using right here okay so I copy this one copy here go to my eBay to our eBay and that's where I paste in you see I pasted in all this now I have to do some changes here because my title this one this title you copy and this title you paste in here all right you paste in here okay because I'm using let me the page jumping because I'm using a holder stainless steel small space inside stainless steel all right we do like this uh, small oh, it's jumping me all uh, free two-day shipping description why I'm putting two description uh, because uh, I using we are using the prime only the prime product so if you are using prime products the prime is two-day shipping I'm using only prime products that's my suggestion for you and tip for you use only prime I have been saying this before but I can I can repeat this more and more only prime not third-party sellers no but just prime products okay so when the buyer comes to my page they see nice easy uh, heading here free to day shipping that's it that's a little bit draws attention that's it then description goes okay where do we get description from description we goes from from our uh, of course from where is the oh I went away where is my dish rack I have to find my dish rack 
Okay, come back, back. Okay, sorry, I have to let out the cat to go. Cat, go up from here. Go away. This is my cat again. So, okay, this is my dish rack here. And um, we don't need to write anything because we got the bullet points here, right? You got the bullet points here, you just copy them, okay? But you can't paste them straight away into your, uh, into your, um, e where is my eBay store? eBay is here, I have so many. Ombre. So you can't paste them. Uh, you can't paste them. The best is if, if you go through the notes, the same notes I was using, but in a, just to save more time, I will paste him here, right here inside. You see what happened? It got like a encoded script from the Amazon and this is not good put this paste this text and the same into your notes or into document whatever you use and, uh, and the same is with uh, with description where is description for this product description you see we can copy this one it's a rather short but if we just paste them straight away into our description, yeah? If we paste them straight away into our description right here, what will happen is we are not changing. It's it's uh, Amazon's encrypted like description here, and this is not good. We have to put all this through the document, okay? And then if you paste into document and then from the document or from the notes or whatever you use then you copy and paste into your description here that's how you go away from this amazon's uh encrypted uh, codes or whatever and then we have to use a little bit we have to change here you see how do we change that's very important as well because oh yeah i didn't tell you about this what is this somebody may wonder what's that one this is uh, just a way how I found my products very easy. Let's say if you if you sell this dish rack, yeah, I don't need to look for it on Amazon anymore because this is I can find my product very easy if I uh, find the the ASIN number. This is the Amazon's inventory number, okay. This is the number here, and this number is the same here. We can just copy and paste into our listings. And nobody actually knows what does that mean. You see here I have the number, and uh, also I will gonna put this number right here. I will change it here, yep. So I got my number in there. And that's how we are. Oh, it was not the number, sorry, the number, where's the number? Number is this one, copy, paste, copy and paste, number, paste here, okay? Now I got the number. So, this number I usually make a very small one because nobody even knows what it is. I take on an eight. Those I take uh, as a bullet points, I use them as well as I use all of my description on uh, on a number 14 yeah that's what I used to do number 14 then I make a little bit nicer color I use always this uh, kind of like between black and brown because it looks better for me I don't know maybe you can use your own and then uh, I use sometimes like this uh, uh, letters like those it's up to you you know it's up to you but that's how I make that's how I make and uh, when uh, customer comes in he opens my listing and he sees oh here is pretty nice simple very easy for eyes to just read over description the deluxe I will gonna change but uh, the style of description is like, like what we need because not so many customers are reading descriptions some yeah but not all of them not even half of them they see they buy by the pictures if it's up it's up to uh, actually it depends what you are selling but uh, if you are selling the dish rack 
they will maybe probably look only on the sizes okay this is not really important and not here so but uh, you don't have to write the blog about your like uh, uh, 25 sentences of what dish rush this is that your grandma was using the same and this is like uh, the most uh, uh, common now and nobody cares about that you know just some basic stuff what we need what really would be interesting for the customer okay we don't have to annoy them with uh, our uh, um, words and sentences here it's for for nothing so make this very small one then you just copy this if it's sold you copy that and you go to Amazon and you just uh, 